Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I'm gonna talk about string tensions. I got this sheet from Robin. It's from the Vienna Open, the Erstebank Open in Vienna ATP 500 event. We have a full sheet of string tensions. I'm gonna comment on the racket and the string tensions. Might be a little bit long, but if you're into pro player gear, I'm sure you'll stick around and watch this because it's quite interesting and there are some surprising finds. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you do. So let's get going with these tension sheets. Starting off with sheet number one, we have Daniil Medvedev. He used a T fight 1819 racket. You probably know this one. He strings it with Racer Soft. That's the new string from Technifarber. He be, he's been using that for a while. And he's down at 22 kilos for this event. I would say a standard tension that I've seen from him is around 24 kilos. That's 53 pounds. But now he's dropped down. And from this event and from these sheets, and what I can tell is that some players are, re are really dropping. It uh, depends sometimes on the balls and on how slow the courts are. I know, for example, Roman Safiulin, he went down to 18 kilos at Stockholm Open because the balls are very slow, the RS balls and the courts as well. And while here, he's up at his standard tension. So um, that's quite fascinating and something you can learn from. You really have to adapt your rack string tension sometimes to, to the conditions. If the ball is flying, you might need a higher tension. Uh, or you feel like you need to hit through more uh, on the indoor court. You might need a lower tension to make sure you maximize your serve speed because the serve is so important on the indoor courts because you're going to get a lot of free points from on the serve. So uh, that's Medvedev changed a little bit. Another player went low. Uh, Alexander Sverev strings his Gravity Pro uh, at 20.5 kilos with Head Hawk in the mains. 20.5 kilos is around 46 pounds and uses natural gut the vs touch from babala in the crosses 21.5 kilos that's pretty low for a gut string uh, so as i said some players seems to be going down while some players are more consistent with how they string the rackets on and off in every tournament dimitro for example he strings approximately the same mains he uses gut 25.5 kilos that's 56 pounds and he uses luxland 4g in the crosses at 24.5 kilos which is 54 pounds. He uses a Pro Staff 97, like an RF 97 Pro Stock with an 1817 string pattern. He's been changing on and off and sometimes testing new stuff. He's really playing well now, so it's fun to see if you're a Dimitro fan. Ramos Vinilas has been around a long time, he uses extended pure drives from quite some time back. Full better 4G, uh, mains 24 kilos and crosses 23 kilos, 53 pounds and 51 pounds. Nothing really old there. 4G will give you good control even in a pure drive. And then we get to Yannick Sinner, Head Speed Pro, as you might know. He's one of those big hitters that stays the same with the tension. He doesn't change too much. Sinner, Alcaraz, Team, Nadal, these guys hit really big. They need the control. They don't seem very happy to fiddle around with string tensions. He uses Head Hawk at 28 kilos. Seems standard for him. Daniel Evans, Wilson 6195 rackets, as you know. All the power mains, natural gut crosses. Pretty nice setup. So relatively low tension there as well in a very control oriented racket, of course. And he has a pretty low swing weight, uh, as you can see in my Dan Evers video, but it's around three to six, if I remember correctly, strong. So that's pretty low for a pro. Daniel Altmaier uh, with the beautiful one handed backhand E zone, I think DR98 model strings with the Luxlon original. Some pros really like that string. It's a good string. 24.5 kilos on the mains and 23.5 kilos on the crosses. And what you might notice from all these different tensions is that they you string the mains a little bit higher, crosses a bit lower to open up a bit more room for the mains to move since the crosses are not as firm then. That's uh, one way to increase snapback and spin effect, spin potential. So most people seem to do that these days. It's becoming more and more popular. Some players don't care. Lorenzo Sonigo, all the power soft. Blade 98 Pro Stock for him. Uh, I think it looks like 19 kilos here. I know he is usually around 20 kilos mark, uh, 44 pounds. So that makes sense. Uh, Rublev uh, stays now with Lynx Tour. He has made a switch some time back from the Luxlon Adrenaline he was using before. He was a Wilson 6195 player some years back, but now he uses the Gravity Pro and he strings it with Lynx Tour at 26 kilos in the mains and 25 kilos in the cross. It's pretty high tensions, but he hits the ball like a madman. And Nedoviesov, sorry for my Russian pronunciation, uh, using RPM Blast is a pure drive player. I think the 2012 version 
Uh, RPM Blast mains Laxon original crosses. That's a bit of an odd setup, uh, in my opinion. I don't know. I haven't I've not tried it. I'm gonna, not going to say old, but I've not seen it. Uh, 26.5 kilos makes sense for that powerful pure drive uh, in the mains and 25.5 in the crosses. So that uh, makes sense that you want to go a bit higher on these kind of rocket launcher rackets, such as the pure drive. Francisco Cerundolo. PT57A, I've talked about his rackets before. They are insanely heavy, very high swing weight. 370 strong, if I remember correctly. Kirschbaum strings, I don't know what strings these are. So if you're a stringer or you know it, you know, hit me up on Instagram or, or comment. I'm curious to, to know what Kirschbaum strings he's using. Maybe Pro Line 2, which is a very good string that I like myself. Uh, 49 pounds, seems pretty good uh, as a setup on the PT57A, which is very low powered. Then, as I talked about, Safiulin, you know, coached by a friend of mine, also know Roman, super nice guy, uh, and very good player this year. He's really showed his, his game, and he strings his Gravity Pro with Lynx Tour at 25 kilos here, but in Stockholm, he was down at 18, 19 kilos uh, when I talked to them a few days ago. Uh, but very slow balls, very slow courts, shows that how much you can need to tweak. Some players are very sensitive. I know Roman is pretty sensitive. Some players are not so sensitive to the conditions. And then we have a fun one, Marcelo Melo. Uh, his strings is head extreme. I'm not sure exactly which model this is, but the doubles players, they, they use slightly different specs than, than the singles players. And I made videos about that before on this channel, uh, but it's quite fascinating. Velocity, that's a multi-filament string. I've recently talked about this string and other strings and compared it to the, to the poly strings, but 18 kilos. This is very low tension. It's like 42, 43 pounds. Uh, I don't know how he controls this thing. I like Velocity, the black one especially, at 24 kilos. So I don't know how he controls it. I don't have the, the technique, spin, or timing of these players. So so we go to sheet number two. Uh, we see um, Italian talent Matteo Arnaldi using Hawk Gray in the mains and Hawk White on the crosses. Usually the white strings, the lighter the string is, the softer it, it plays. That's pretty much standard these days. 22 kilos mains, 21 kilo crosses. I think he's using some kind of Radical Pro stock. I think the graphene, I'm not sure on what mold and so on. You uh, racket experts might correct me on this. That's that's interesting. Hachanov, H22 Pro stock. He's been with that for a long time. He was fiddling around a bit for some time, time, time back, but now he's, he's uh, stuck with the H22. All the power, standard setup. 24 kilo mains, 22 kilo crosses, that's 53 and 49 pounds. Uh, also another example going lower in the crosses. Alcaraz also does that, as you might know if you watch this channel. Uh, Dominic Team still with RPM power. Uh, he's been with that for a long time now and uh, seems to work for him. 25 kilos. He is a bit like Rafa. He doesn't like changing the tension too much. He hits big on every shot. 55 pounds makes sense. Uh, Yile Leheshka is another player who hits big, plays very aggressive, beautiful volley game, like fun kind of throwback style of tennis. Full battle volley power like Hachanov, uh, same 24, 22 kilo tension, uh, 53 and 51 pounds. Then we have some doubles players. We have uh, Andreas Mies, uh, another H22 guy it seems like. Solinko Torbite is what I guess from this sheet, 20 to 21 kilos. Sounds like a nice setup in, in that control racket. Matve Middelkoop, uh, my Dutch pronunciation might also need some customization. Uh, head 95 screen Pro Stock is the PT57A, it looks like it. Strings with ISO speed strings. I don't know which ISO speed, there are quite a few strings. They, their factory, their runs, makes a lot of different strings for other brands as well. 26, 25 kilos. Multi in the crosses by the looks of it. I mean, multi or cut, obviously. Uh, interesting setup. If you know more, let me know. Sebastian Ofner with Pure Strike 98, uh, thin ice speed poly in the mains and a slightly thicker poly in the crosses. Relatively high tension for the power of the racket 26 and 25 kilos. Tommy Paul, a uh, recent switch to the V Core 98 from his Blade 98 Pro Stock, strings it with all the power in the mains 50 pounds and uh, that's around 22.5 kilos. Natural gut in the cross is slightly higher because the gut is obviously more powerful, 53 pounds. It's one of the few guys here who actually strings the, the crosses a bit higher. 24 kilos is, is 53 pounds there. Rajiv Ram, arrow, some kind of pure arrow, strung with gut in the mains, 49 pounds. Uh, Gray Solinko string in the crosses, 46 pounds. That's a pretty powerful setup. You have this kind of pure arrow style racket with a lot of power, a lot of spin. 
uh, and his strength pretty low with the Gut hybrid. But uh, doubles players, they, they have more powerful setups. It's more about the serve. You need to really accelerate the serve, more about touch and feel at the net, putting away those smashes, not so much a ground stroke game. And uh, they have a little bit more of a touch and feely stroke in general, I feel like. They hit the ball a little bit differently in doubles. Uh, Kohlhoff, it looks like a 98 square inch pro stock here. I have a feeling it's like a 2019 prestige MP. That's just a feeling because I like that racket movie. Uh, all the power remains at 47 pounds or 21 kilos. And he uses element in the crosses. And that's actually a nice combo. If you want a slightly softer all the power style setup, you can add element crosses or mains to, to soften that feel. I think I've talked about that in previous videos. I've used this setup quite a bit. Uh, Neil Skubski is another head player. Looks like a 98 square inch prestige style frame. All the power mains, VS touch crosses, slightly below 20 kilos, 44 pounds. Uh, nice touch feel is set up. Uh, then we have Poprin, Alexei Poprin, big hitter, uh, won a title earlier this year. Uh, he plays with the FX500 Tour Pro Stock Luxland 4G, 27 kilos. This is a whopping high tension for 4G, but he's also a guy that hits the living daylight out of the ball. Don't copy his, his string and tension. I think that could, could be a pretty, pretty big arm killer for a lot of players. JG Wolf plays with a mullet strung up with natural hair at 36 pounds. Uh, no, he uses a head speed pro, not sure which generation, strung with Solinko Torbite at 45 pounds. Sounds like a nice setup to me. Then we have Monfils coming in fresh from his Stockholm win. Congrats. Uh, uses an Artengo control tour. Plenty of videos about that on this channel. All the power, which he has been using for a long time. 26 kilo mains, 25 kilo crosses. That's 57 and 55 pounds. Vukic uses what looks like a pure arrow VS, an older VS. Dense in the mains. You see the throw here. It doesn't look like a, a pure arrow. You know, you can look at the string pattern. I will give it away a little bit. Um, RPM Blast Rough Yellow, which is what Olesher Aliasim used to play with. He strings pretty low, 44 pounds. Then we have Philip Oswald, Head Gravity Pro. Bablat VS Touch Natural Gut at 24 kilo in the mains, 53 pounds. And Head Hawk at 23 kilos at 51 pounds. That's a nice setup. Borna Goyo used what looks like a PT57A. Could be some other small head size head pro stock. All the power, 24 kilos in the mains and 23 kilos in the crosses, pretty standard for very skilled players. Another PT57A player, Aslan Karatsev, strings his racket with Headhawk White at 24 kilos mains and 23 kilos crosses. That is kind of like a ballpark tension I see a lot, like 24 kilo mains, 23 kilo crosses. That's 53 pounds and 51 pounds in the crosses. And then we have Sander Gile, I think you pronounce it, I'm not sure. He has a Yonix V-Core, which he uses Luxlon Element in at 50 pounds, 22.5 kilos. So there you have it. It's me rattling off a lot of players and their specs. I might have gotten some things wrong. I think I got most of the things right, but I'm not sure. Quite interesting. We have some surprisingly low tensions, but as I said, the serve is very important. Maybe the bolts are slow. As you can see, many players are also pretty firm on sticking with what they know and not tweaking too much for a tournament really depends on the player, the style, the preferences, everything. So that's why tennis is interesting. Obviously, every setup is very personal. And you can see a Marcelo Melo is using velocity, which is more like an amateur string at 18 kilos in a pretty powerful racket. And on the other side of the spectrum, you have Yannick Sinner who murders the ball with Hawk at 28 kilos. So uh, this is the fascinating part of tennis. You can see really different specs. If you don't know what specs to use, check out my consultation service on TennisNerd.net where there's loads of information about racket strings. I also have a page with recommended rackets and strings that are the most recent ones that I think are overall my favorites of all the rackets I test. I test so many rackets and strings in a year. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.